I know you all know it and everybody talks about it, but, but the facts are just showing a, an immense shift in, in, in what the next generation of consumers are buying. They eat out more. Um, seven in 10 millennials use their mobile phone for shopping. They are 30% more likely to say green is important to them. And companies are responding to this with you know, green packaging. The second big theme in the environment is that shift in consumer preferences is, is creating a revolution in retail. So if you just think about it simply, right, consumers, younger consumers are rapidly changing what they buy and where they buy. It's about as simple as that. Um, and it's happening all over the world, whether it's at Sainsbury's, you know, responding by opening till-free grocery stores, Waitrose is adding click and collect, all sorts of experimentation and format, Amazon partnering with Morrison's, for same-day delivery service in five cities. You all know, right after GDPR, there were over 100,000 privacy complaints. Um, and yet, worldwide, ha and worldwide half consumers will say um, they don't want to do business with a company that uh, shares their data inappropriately. So this stuff's real. Um, on the other hand, Consumers will also say that they, they're comfortable doing business with companies that use their data in appropriate ways. Um, and that it is highly likely that personalization will end up being a first party model here in Europe. 70% like of European consumers want an individualized customer experience and yet only 40% of the brands uh, offer it today. At least in the markets that we're in so far where we're working with personalized data, we feel like the regulatory environment is actually an advantage to us. It plays to the strength of companies that have direct relationships with companies that work with the customer. There probably isn't a single top 50 organization in our industry that isn't hungry for more data trying to figure out their technology strategy and trying to use that information to create better understanding of consumers, but more importantly, faster decision-making that drives profit, growth, and customer intimacy. We think the next three years, um, artificial intelligence and ma machine learning and mastering the science of managing complex data um, is going to come to the forefront. And it's driven a lot by the complexity of, and the mass of data that's being collected in the world. We have an opportunity to create immense impact on our clients, on our companies. And it, the fact is, what other group, what other group inside a large organization could do it? What other group? The insights teams and the research teams have been the keepers of information and data. And so if we embrace this vision of transforming our industry from an insight industry to an augmenting, a decision-driven industry, we can change our industry, we will become more relevant, and we will drive immense economic opportunity. We see ourselves as the disruptors in the industry. We, you know, we take risks, we like to take bets, we like to put provocative thoughts out there. We work with clients in a, in a we words, use a lot of words like co-creation and experimentation and innovation. I loved you know, Jeff Bezos' point that you can make decisions with 80% information because most decisions are reversible, so just make them and move. Um, we see an unprecedented opportunity for, to change our industry. And we have a mission that is to help make you faster, smarter, and more effective by delivering profitable growth and consumer relevancy by leveraging data analytics and technology.